there everyone this is Lilith and welcome back to another one of my videos for my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be using a couple of new products from Altenew from their June 12 release and I've picked out the pen sketch mandala uh, stamp stitch which you can see here and I also used the frilly, fray dice, frilly, frilly frame die set um, to cut out my photo which you can see at the top. Now for my colors I picked out some blues and greens and also some reds uh, inspired by a the photo that I chose for this layout and I'm going to do a little bit of graded stamping as I call it so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to start with a darker green at the bottom and just blend the color out with uh, a finger dauber I'm not too worried about how the top part is looking because I'm going to be adding color as I work along now the finger dauber will help you just um, blend out the color and not get any harsh lines because if you were just to use uh, your oval stamp and just stamp on part of it or add the color on part of it you will get a very harsh finish so this little finger dauber will just help me um, spread the color out nicely so now that I have got my green, I'm going to add a little bit of blue to the top, which you can see here. I'm starting with the lightest color and then adding a bit of the darker color. I'm not too worried about that blue going into the green. It will create a nice effect. And I'm going to add a darker shade around the edges and just blend that ever so slightly so that the finish isn't too harsh. Here I'm going in with one of my darker colors and just going to add until I'm really happy with how that looks. So now that I have got the finished um, stamped image, I'm going to stamp a couple of smaller images. So as you can see on this set, you get the one large mandala um, shape and then you get, get two inner images. So you've got a full image and then the smaller one. You can stamp them separately or just um, stamp them in the middle if you want to. I'm going to use Rouge crimson and velvet uh, for this because there is a hint of red in my photo and I'm going to stamp a lighter color in the middle and then just add a darker shade around the sides. And I'm going to stamp this three times because I'll be using it three times on my layout. And once I have finished stamping all these shapes all I have to do is cut them out and I will be cutting them out by hand. bit of time playing around with my background elements but finally I decided to go with the 12 by 12 pattern paper uh, this one is from our, one of our earlier scrapbook collections the reflection scrapbook collection and I also picked out a couple of flowers which were on one of those pattern papers uh, from the same collection and I'm just going to cut them out by hand because I just thought that the colors ma matched my photo perfectly so I'm just going to cut out different flower shapes and then use those to create clusters around the, um, the layout so I'm going to create three clusters of um, flowers and this will just help the eye flow over the layout so as you can see I've popped that little uh, red stamped shape in the bottom and then one more to the left hand side and the other one to the top and this will just create the flow going from the bottom over my photo to the top all I have to do is add a title a little bit of journaling a couple of finishing touches and my layout is complete. I hope you enjoyed this little video and that I've inspired you. If you've got any questions just pop them in the comment section and you can also visit my blog for more information on all the products used. Thank you so much for joining me and I'll see you very soon. Bye bye!